In this video, I'm going to go over Bizarro Disk Burning App. This is just going to be an overview. I'll probably make a sections on all the features that Bizarro has the capabilities of doing. To start with, let's show you how to access Bizarro in Ubuntu Mate. You go to your Applications menu, go to Sound and Video, and then it's in alphabetical order. I've kind of got mine scrolled down, and it's Bizarro. Clicking on the Bizarro option brings you the Bizarro application screen. As you can see on the left hand side you have one, two, three, four, five different options. You can burn an audio project meaning that you can have mp3 and other type of audio files and burn them to a CD so that you can listen to them in a CD player. Not a lot of people do that anymore. Most people listen to the digital devices. You can actually burn a data project. Burning data files is exactly the way that the files are stored like on your computer or your laptop. You burn them to a CD or a DVD and they'll keep their original form. Such as if you've got a Word document file and it's a DOC extension, it will still be a DOC extension on your CD or DVD. Your video project. Here's where you can download a clip say from YouTube or other sources on the internet. You could create your own videos with a video cam and you can burn them to a DVD or a Super VCD which is a CD. You can also make a one-to-one -one copy so if you've got yourself a disc and you'd like to make a copy of it you know as a teacher a lot of times I keep records of my students or in the past I kept records of my students and I also kept records of the, the, ass the assignments and the labs and things that I create so that if I anything ever happened to my computer now, a lot of times I'll create me a backup copy and put it in my drawers for safekeeping so if I scratched it. Or sometimes I would make copies of my disk that give to other teachers. And the last option is to burn an image. You know, for example, people that download uh, the Linux software is in the form of an ISO file. And I've recently downloaded the, the most current version. That's what I have on my laptop is the Ubuntu Mate 17.04 uh, for desktop. I have a 64-bit operating system. Notice it has the extension ISO. That is an image file. By clicking on the burn the image, I can actually take that file and it, as it's burning, it will extract the files and burn it to my CD, or in this case, will be a DVD. So this is just an overview of what Bizarro has the capabilities of doing. You know, you've got, you can click each of the buttons, you can go through and choose new project, and choose the same features as choosing on the buttons on the left hand side. So that's a quick overview of what Bizarro is and, and how Bizarro would benefit you if you were using Ubuntu Mate and needed to make some sort of data, audio, or video CD or DVD.